Alright, this video is called Not Milk Part 2 and we'll be getting to that in just a second. But just to let you guys know, well, you know, maybe uh, you shouldn't be drinking ultra pasteurized and, and homogenized milk. Might not be a good thing. Okay guys, um, if you watch the first Not Milk video, you will know that this is the same exact carton of milk that I have had in my refrigerator for a year. Yes, a year, you guys. Now, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know if it's still any good. Um, I'm hoping that it's bad. I hope that it's um, stinky and rotten and gross like it's supposed to be. Today is December 18th of 2022, and as you can see, the sell-by date on this is... 12 20 21 okay the reason why i'm doing this little video is because well um this carton of milk basically uh, got forgotten in the back of the fridge and last summer uh, i think it was around august when i made the first video i noticed it was in there and i thought oh gross i better throw this thing out because it's old um and i opened it and sniffed it just because that's what i always do why i don't know um i guess i'm a weirdo uh, and it didn't smell bad at all, and it didn't look bad at all, and I poured it into a cup, and it was like normal milk. So I thought, this is really odd. This is probably a bad thing, not a good thing. So um, I made a video to show um, what this old milk was doing, and it was like brand new milk. You know, it was really just crazy. And I think it's because they um, ultra pasteurize and homogenize this stuff. And later on, after I made the video, um, my suspicion was confirmed. Um, they say that you can keep milk like this on the shelf for at least nine months. I don't think that's a good thing. Um, unless you're going to, I don't know, live on a space station or colonize Mars. Uh, you probably don't want food that's going to last that long opened especially opened I mean because the thing the seal was broke you know it's not like it was a can or a jar that had never been opened it was opened partially used and put in the refrigerator so to me um it should have gone bad and dairy unless it's in one of those like foil pack thingies or canned is not supposed to last more than a few weeks in, you know um anywhere including the refrigerator um unless you freeze it so um there you go, guys. I, I just don't um, I just don't trust that kind of stuff. I think that uh, you know um, if it can't sustain the life of a bacteria, it's not going to sustain your life. I said that in the last video. So um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to check it out. I have, like I said, I haven't opened it. I don't know how it smells. I don't know how it looks. I am definitely not going to taste it. But um, we are going to check it out right here, right now on the video. So all right, let's get to it. All right, just so you guys know, this is the exact same carton of milk, okay? I have not opened it yet. This is 12, 20 of 21, a year old carton of milk. So we're going to open it right now, and I'm, I'm kind of, I got to be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I really don't know what's going to happen when I open this thing. I do have to say, though, it was a little tiny bit bloated when I took it out of the refrigerator, and now it's kind of calmed down, so maybe some of the air that was inside of it kind of came out. I don't know. Um, but, um, I'm going to open this and, um, I'm going to take a little bit of a sniff test and see. Okay. Really? It doesn't stink. You guys, that's the weird part. Okay. That it, it doesn't smell bad at all for, I mean, it, you know, it, you know how milk smells when it gets sour, it doesn't have that smell. Okay. So we're going to pour it in this cup and, um, I want to see what happens. Maybe some chunks will come out, I hope, or something. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, 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 there's some chunks. Okay, okay. At least it's it's kind of going um, south there. That, that means that the fat has separated from the milk. But that doesn't mean that it's completely spoiled. It just means that the, the cream, because this is whole milk, it means that the cream has separated from the rest of the milk. Um, I'm going to do another sniff test. Yeah, guys, it, it, it's, you know, obviously it, it's bad because it's, you know, been in the carton for a whole year, but... It really doesn't smell bad. I mean, it's not stinking up my house. Um, it's not making me want to gag. So, yeah, that's just odd. Um, yeah, I, I, I really don't know what to, to make of this, really. 
Okay, guys, so, uh, yeah, that was just kind of weird. Um, it looks like it's starting to kind of go south a little bit because, like I say, you know, um, when milk starts, just starts to kind of sour or has sit, sat around for a little while um, in its natural state, the cream does separate from, from the rest of the milk because um, that is whole milk, so it's going to have a lot of cream in it. Um, but by no means is it sour at that point. Um, it's still actually drinkable. And um, if this was like real whole milk that I had gotten from a farm or something like that or wasn't totally ultra pasteurized, um, I would probably drink that milk or I would actually separate the cream from the milk and... Um, you know, um, make butter or something like that. But, um, since this milk has been in my refrigerator for a year, I think I'm just going to toss it. But, um, yeah, I'm just doing this video as a PSA for you guys. You know, um, if you don't mind the fact that, um, it can't support any life, you know, not even a small, uh, microbe, then, um, maybe this milk is for you. Maybe if you're going to go live on the moon or, you know, like I said, colonize Mars or hang out in the International Space Station, then this kind of technology is probably a really good thing. Um, but um, for me, I'm here on planet Earth and um, I kind of value my health. And uh, yeah, we have not bought that milk since last year. Um, I will never buy it again. And just an FYI, like I said in the last video, it's totally flavor flavorless. It doesn't even taste or or smell like milk. It's kind of like drinking thick water. It's it, it, not even that. It's just, it's just really, really gross. So I don't recommend it. Um, in fact, it would probably be more tasty, um, sour and a year old than it was when I originally bought the thing. That's why it got forgotten in the refrigerator because it just didn't taste like anything. And so neither one of us were interested in drinking it or using it in anything. I tried even making cheese out of it one time and it just, yeah, there's just not enough life left in it to even make cheese so yeah there you have it guys um i just wanted to give you guys a follow-up on that and like i promised i was going to wait an entire year um and see how the milk was and i did that and well um it's disgusting that it is not disgusting let's just put it that way <laughs> um so yeah hopefully you guys got a kick out of this and got something out of it and if you did do all that YouTube stuff, you know, like and subscribe and thanks for watching my channel and all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye. Ew. That is just so wrong. Little chunks of butter in there. It's not homogenized anymore. <laughs>